Hey folks, and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create this rewind effect in Premiere Pro. Before starting this tutorial, make sure to download the assets which you can find in the description below. I sourced this video from Pexels.com. It's just a guy kicking a soccer ball. And I'm just going to apply the rewind effect to this video. So I'm going to start by marking an in point and an out point in the source monitor. I'm going to mark an endpoint here by clicking I on the keyboard. I'm going to move it down till about here. Mark an out point with an O. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag it onto the timeline. Now I'm going to duplicate this video and you can do that by holding down option on your keyboard and then just dragging this video across. I'm going to right click the clip, click speed and duration and we're gonna reverse the speed. Press okay. So now the clip should reverse. Okay, I'm gonna have it stop at about here. I'm gonna make a cut by hitting Command K on the keyboard and deleting this extra clip. I'm gonna duplicate this clip. Again, Option drag. I'm gonna right click speed and duration, and I'm going to uncheck the reverse speed. For this middle clip here, I'm going to right click, we're going to adjust the speed and duration again, and we're going to make the speed 300%. Press OK. We're going to close this gap by clicking the space and hitting delete. Now you can see that it, it gets really fast as it's rewinding, so it kind of has that boomerang effect here. Okay, so let's jazz it up a bit. We're gonna go and double click that TV noise glitch effect. So it comes up in your source monitor. We're gonna pick a part that we like. Um, around here is nice. I'm gonna hit I again to mark an in point and O to mark an out point. And I'm just gonna drag it on. Make sure that it goes across the entire length of that middle clip here. We're going to right click, scale to frame size so that it covers the entire clip. And then we're gonna mess with the blending mode, which you can find in the effect controls. And we're gonna just change the blending mode to, let's try screen. Okay, that's pretty good. You can adjust the opacity if you want. I think I'm gonna stick with 100 though. And now let's take that rewind image. Again, drag that onto the sequence. Make sure that it spans the entire length of the clip. So we have that little rewind symbol. We're just going to shrink it to around 60. And then we're going to position it so it's on the top left corner here. Now we're going to add that rewind sound effect. We're going to double click it so it shows up in the source monitor. We're going to listen for a part that we like. Okay, let's go around here. Again, we're gonna mark an in point and out point. We're gonna drag it on. Instead of hitting the video, we're gonna drag the audio only. We're going to make it the size of the clip. And we're just gonna bump up the volume to about 15. I'm gonna add a constant power to the beginning and end of this audio sequence and I can just search that up in effects. Drag that on here. And that's pretty much it. Let's take a look. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. Have a great rest of your day.